Movers and shakers of Little Italy once came here to say their last goodbyes. Decades later, the home meets its own end. It's really unfortunate for the neighborhood. There's a lot of history here, and、um, it's just really sad to see it go. Before bidders and buyers packed this room, heavy tears and sad hearts filled the Johnston mortuary. It's like the last grand mansion left on Tenth Street. Today, the mourning continues as neighbors of the mansion prepare for its demolition. I don't think it's the direction to go, but it's. It's rammed through so fast. That's what's amazing. You get a letter one week that says the building sold, and then you have a meeting, then you have an auction, and in two weeks, the building will be gone. Mike Marins admired the mortuary for two decades. Last month, he received this letter stating 27 townhomes will replace the morgue. There's another condo being built right next door. You know, it's this this building in particular just has an incredible history. Of Omaha is a, it's a shame. Marin calls the development a tragedy. <laughs> one by one, the highest bidder claims the details and craftsmanship that made this mortuary unique, and soon these windows, doors, and fixtures will go to homes and consignment shops around the country. I sold it to a rent fifty dollars. Though it's still standing, Marin says the historic home. Is already forgotten. I think it's all probably positive in the long run. It's just at the cost of history.